Hello everyone, I'm Senior Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here in Iberia, playing as the Regional Defense Council of Aragon, eventually soon to be the Regional Defense Council of Iberia. So, last time, we finished off the Spanish Civil War. We also took out Portugal because we had a small, tiny uprising happen in Portugal, which was good for everyone, including the Portuguese. Uh, right now, oh, we have a sub. We don't need a sub there. So right now, I'm kind of waiting for our focus to uh, finish. Oh, Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. They're a bit full of themselves. Whatever. Uh, let's see. We need... We have one capital ship there. We have three... That's not bad. Yeah. Lot. These destroyers are special. Oh, oh, we have the sub here. Oh, why did, why did I put the sub there? Thank you. Subs should go right there. I want to see... Uh, we're doing this kind of late. I would like to have some sort of capital ships as well. Oh, heavy cruiser. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Definitely take that. There you go. That should be... That's still a good no, good number of screens. If you're all doing okay, really, what I'm kind of waiting for to see what happens is the war between Germany and the Soviet Union. I need to know how they're doing and what they're doing. Oh, that's not bad. You're all infantry, which, you know, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. But, really, I want, I need this division. There you go. Oh, we're going to need some more manpower, too. That's not good. But we have enough artillery, enough infantry equipment that we're doing pretty well in that. We can probably pull off something here. Now, well, we're already, actually, probably not, actually. We're doing pretty well with what we currently have. I would like to make some tanks, like I said before, but our industry... With 37 factories, really isn't that great. For the love of God, I just hope that they hold. Oh, Italy invaded the Crimea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see. 1.5 million. 2.2. Ooh, 1. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I mean, overall, 3.73, but still. The UK killed off a lot of Italians. I think the Soviets just annexed Tanutuva. Ah, oh, there you go. Yep. Yep. Uh... And we can't tell what how strong these guys are. A lot of factories, a ton of manpower, and lots of fuel. Germany has some fuel? We, we're not really sure. How is our spies? How are our spies? You are doing root out resistance in... Wait, we don't need, we don't need to do that anymore since... Um, this is cores. This should be cores. No? Oh, it will be cores once we have our focus done. Once we have our focus done, that'll be good. Uh, where's my other spy? Do I have another spy? I don't... I only have one spy. Oh. Well, maybe I should get another spy. But that costs stuff, and I need my factories to build stuff up as much as, and as fast as possible. I, we are really locked into place here. Hmm. Oh, we own this area, which is kind of nice. Fiji, France. Free France. Yemen. I mean, if I could, I would totally invade somewhere. Ah! All of North America is in the Allies. Oh, they're trying to fight the Germans, and they're justifying against Vichy France. You know what? If I go to war with the Axis, I probably won't be able to join the Allies. Probably. But that could give us, you know, a good amount of time to, uh... Or some potential ability for us to go to war, take Southern France off of them. Which I think sounds like a pretty good idea. Come on, let's finish this up as fast as possible. How are our planes? Uh, go up to 100. We have an ace. Awesome. Uh, it seems like a bit too much. Thank you. Who are you? You're just fighters, huh? Train those guys. And then... We have a few more fighters. Tactical bombers. Close air support, huh? Naval bombers are always good to have. Let's deploy those. Maybe we can train them a little bit as well. You guys train as well. Ships. Yeah, I like to do ship stuff, but we only have so much fuel. Good. Keep building that stuff up. I know it's 1942. Um, for the scope of this campaign, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to play with this campaign. Just because... It's 1942. I mean, I want to go through at least all the focuses for Anarchist Spain. And we'll see what happens. So. Global Defense Council. Anarchism knows no borders. Justify World Goal sounds pretty good. But, uh, we're not that... We're not in a really powerful position. I mean, if we join the Axis, that would be great, but... I don't think fascists like anarchists, and I don't, and democracies, republics, you know, all these people, UK, allies, Canada, US, I don't think they care that much for anarchy either. 
I mean, as you can tell, we're kind of non aligned, anarchist for some reason. Like, th this is considered authoritarian, I think, or something. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Whatever. But let's just get Defense Council of Iberia. And how's actually Asia doing? Japan is slaughtering the Chinese. Alright. Makes sense. The Chinese United Front is here on two different fronts. Come on, Soviets. you got to hold it. I need the Soviets to wear down the Germans as much as possible. Now, I don't know if in patch 1.9, if the Germans got any sort of nerf, which they should, uh, when that update hit. Just because they have a lot of resistance, I bet, all over the place here. Yeah, 29% is already... That's not very good. Hey, our flag changed. Nice. That's really cool. Uh, freedom of thought would be extremely helpful. I would love to do this stuff. It takes 70 days, though. Why 70 days, man? Why? Anyways, freedom of thought. Closed-mindedness has no place in our communities. All are welcome, no matter their ideas, as long as they accept the basic underpinnings of our society. The non-aggression principle, right? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Wait, did we just get... We got more factories. How do we do that? Um, we were at 37. Now we have... M oh, is it because we core this area? That's probably why. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Now, let's go ahead and send uh, our single spy. She's doing a great job. Some activity has been noticed. Uh-oh. Yeah, do some counterintelligence. Yeah, Madrid, yeah. Yeah, do some counterintelligence. I don't like what's going on here. If that's the case, we only have one. Let's at least get one more civilian factory first. Hungary claims overlordship of Slovakia. Uh, German Reich says no to you. Which honestly doesn't make any sense. I could help reduce lag if they just annex and cord Slovakia, but whatever. I'm not sure they can cord. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Let's double check. Oh, we can't. We can't check. Maybe not. Yep, oh, there was a little sm small Soviet encirclement there. <sighs> Bitch. Oh. I forgot that Victory France owns all this part of France. Italy's looking not too bad, either. I really don't like what's going on here. Hey, we've got more manpower. I just enjoyed the Axis because the UK wanted that land. Alright, United States. And now they've joined the Axis. Oh, they had some rebels here or something? Hmm. Well, I hope the United States gets involved much quicker. Regional Defense Council of Iberia. I'm never going to release Sarawai Arab Democratic Republic because no, no, no. Nice tanks. Awesome. We can actually start making some tanks. That'd be really cool. And I'm still trying to make some old garbage ships. I'm really not focusing on the Navy, so that's actually okay, I suppose. Oh my goodness, we need so much aluminum. Give me one more from these guys. That's why I want... Uh... So be it. Let's get one defense thing. That'll help out a little bit. Oh, oh, hello there, D-Day. Is that Free France already? If that's the case, I do want to finish up this focus tree as fast as possible so that we can do the inevitable counter blow uh, to status of court states if they have sufficiently high compliance, faith in the cause, militarize the people, which is pretty good, militarize the industry, communal anarchy, resource stuff. Anarchism knows no bounds. Plant the seeds of revolution sounds like a lot of fun. Global Defense Council. Huh. What's compliance like across our area? Resistance. Compliance. Oh, that's compliance map mode. That's 6%. In some areas, former nationalist territories, of course. 59%. That's pretty good. Down here, it's 50, 52, 54, uh, 54% over there. Resistance. It's going down. That's awesome. Of course, in Portugal, it's going down. That's good. Resistance is going down pretty much all across the board. If it's not already zero. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. I doubt I can send volunteers to... Yeah, I can't send volunteers to the Soviets. Oh, we need at least 30 divisions, and I don't I don't even have that. Uh, we, have a, we got a good supply, though. We got a pretty good supply of stuff for a while. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, let's see. This division, we... Did we ever... We still haven't made... <sighs> military police. They're 20 combat with. They got a lot of suppression, which is really nice. Oh, and that invasion has... It's not great. I'd love to see, though, who's actually in that invasion. We don't need any more war support, of course. 
we don't need improved working conditions because it just lowers our stability anyways, or yeah, minus 1% every week. <sighs> War industrialists would be okay to do as well. Hmm, I need to build stuff up faster. I really, really do. Chief of Navy, Air Force, <sighs> industrial research speed. Ah, passive defense, good. Um, diplomatic training, cryptology level. Only costs five, but more passive defense. Hold on, let's double check. Low, little to no. Let's go and go with more cryptology. And we're trying to crypt Vichy France. So, our lady here, Valeria, she's good at blowing stuff up. What do we want in more intel? On Vichy France. See what that area is like. Oh, and the Allies lost it. They just lost La Roche. And Vichy France got a little bit bigger. Come on. Come on. We get 0.87 political power a day. That's okay ish. Eh. Keep building, keep building. It's been about five four or five months, and the Germans haven't made that many offenses, so that's actually kind of reassuring for us. Ooh, Norway's still here. Uh-oh. Free France is doing okay-ish in North Africa. They're not really... Eh, they might be pushing through here a little bit. Um, oh, that's what they took over my area down here. Go ahead. Give me war industrialists. Probably... Yeah, that's probably a good idea to do that. And then, finally, a fifth research salon. Does anyone else need a train? No, you guys definitely do not. And we will need some Coast Guards as well. Bordeaux. Oh, but they're trying to take Bordeaux. All right. Coast Guards. Brigade to Infantry. Yep, I got five more divisions. Great. Duplicate this. Coasts. Put you on low and remove a lot of this infantry stuff. I'm going to keep the artillery and engineers on there just because. Uh, oh, ghosts. There you are. Let's train three of them at a time. Put you down here so you can get to where we need to be, and that'll be great. Five more divisions. Great. Build up our army. Pretty awesome. Ah, finally, another research slot. And we need both of these. We'll do Torchbearers of Tomorrow. Those who do their part in the support of, the, of our cause, be it through intellectual or military pursuits, are the very future incarnate. This realization may well be a powerful driving force, so we must make sure that they are aware of the importance of their work. More research speed, and better recovery rate. Threats of Bound, huh? Nice. Still recovering from the Civil War, which is really bad. Really bad. Oh, wait, hold on. Why am I doing that? I need to actually research stuff. 1942. Radar would be cool. Atomic research. Actually, uh, right, that would be cool. Let's get some more uh, cap. That would be good. Oh, they got Bordeaux. They got that area. Ah, we have guns now. Better guns. Mechanize. I'd love to do this, especially for suppression stuff. I can't really afford it, though, right now. Better artillery pieces, just in case. Sure. Come on. What are the losses like so far? Alright, that's... Oh, she... Well, roughly double since last time I... Oh, God. Uh, German-Luxembourgish War. Italy's lost a lot. The U.S. Iceland's gone. That took, that took a long time to kill off Iceland. Come on, United States. Come on, America. Oh, uh, they took Bordeaux back as well. Vichy France is slowly gaining all of its territories back. How wonderful. How wonderful. More recovery rate. Lots of recovery rate. Government cipher schools. Good. Uh, do that. And do one more as well. Good, good, good. Oh, blueprint stealing could be really good as well. Ooh. Radio interception. Decryption. Start doing some of that stuff too. Even though I'll, I'll probably stop doing it after we get art. I want another operative. Since we have one, it's probably good to have at least two. But what can we tell about Intel about the Jew France? Political violence. Oh, good. They still have political violence. So, we don't have much intel. They got quarter, maybe less than a quarter million manpower. Yeah, we got advanced fire bases. 26 to 36 military factories, which is pretty good, actually, for them. 
Okay, that's good to get. I need some recon too, which is gonna take a little bit of time for us to get. Couple things, couple things, couple uh, trade agreements. They have a ton of aluminum, holy cow. They have up to 70 divisions, quit India movement. Come on, America, do something. You need to single-handedly take down the entire Axis of America, with the Soviet's help, of course, and the United Kingdom, which I guess doesn't sound very single-handedly. Hmm. 58 factories, come on. I don't want to train these guys. Oh, what is this like? Oh, we actually have a, another. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, throw you right there. That's probably a bad idea, but whatever. Oh, we have another ship. Um, okay, well, let's throw you right there. You have to become a media personality. Well, you're not going to get any of that, so. Oh, well. I could train these guys. Uh, train them until they're okay-ish. Um, I guess they're all going to be training until they're all done. Okay, so be it. So be it. Free France is slowly coming online. This is still pretty stationary. I'm glad we have this area. Wow, they got a lot of compliance down there. Wish I had that much compliance. We really don't need a lot of garrisons down here, which is kind of nice. Civilian... Oh, oh, martial law. Yeah, how is this coming along? 9%. Lo it's because I have low stability, which kind of really... N garbo. Rio Garbo. Ah, radio interception group. Good. We still need one more. Give it more cipher decryption stuff. Next up. Do atomic research. I want more research speed. Alright, we're 24%. Research is like what? Analyze our defeat. Oh, interesting. I oh, hold on. There's another invasion here. It looks like. Good. The invasion of southern France has started much earlier than I expected. Much earlier. Oh, free France. Their capital is in Tripoli. Holy cow. Yeah. Come on, America. You gotta hold. Or United Kingdom. Whoever's down there. They've lost. They've lost a lot of guys already. Holy cow. Fall of Manila. The Philippines are going to be gone. Japan? I mean... Japanese Papua? P Papua. America. Please. Please do not fail. Because... <laughs> uh, I cannot fight the Axis by myself. Like, I'll, I'll probably try in the end. If anything, and probably get defeated. But, you know, we'll see what happens. British Malay has capitulated. That's not good. 1940. Two, and the Allies are being pushed out of southern France. What we really need, though, is Germany to have a lot of problems with resistance in all these areas. Because some of these areas, they're becoming increasingly hostile to the Germans. Warsaw? Ooh, 57%. 50%. 25, 25, 44, 20, 17 is not much. Hmm. Good. Very nice. Oh, Western Air Gun. Yeah, we need to finish this stuff up faster. Come on. Give me even more research speed. But we, how many divisions do we have in total? Because these divisions aren't terrible. 28. That's not much. That's really not much. Good. We have 60 factories. Not bad. Not bad. My goodness, it's so laggy. It, oh. First periods of tomorrow, the inevitable counter blow. Faith in the cause. That's kind of waste of war support. So, international hostility towards our communal way of life is increasing. It is only a matter of time before the blow falls, and we must be ready to receive it. Unlocks recovering from civil war decisions, make it so that we can return to uh, core states, basically. Core states. Land for construction speed, coastal ports. We get more anarchist zeal, minimum trading level, daily support for unaligned. Eh, that seems okay. Oh, that's cool. Torch bearers of tomorrow, government cipher schools. And now we can get another one. I'm going to not make any more stuff for now because I really need to build stuff up. So we get a second researcher or researcher espionage person. Could I have a coup in Vichy, France? That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, wow. Up with Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc. Down with Marianne. Marianne. Come on, give me more intel on what's going on. That, they're mobilizing more. Holy cow. And I'd love to analyze more stuff about Germany as well. What's their, like, 
They're, they have a lot of manpower. Holy cow, that's from Germany? That's a lot of manpower. What level of... It? Um, oh, that's a, lot, that's a lot of divisions. Ooh, better tanks. Good. Good. 1942. Radar. Uh, radar would be pretty helpful, actually. Resource-wise, can we actually extract stuff now? Not really. It'd be kind of a waste. Medium tanks. Good. Make those tank divisions. Or at least make those tank equipment. So we can make some tank divisions. 1942. Ship stuff. I've mostly completely ignored. Um... Honestly, subs are pretty okay-ish. I kind of want something heavier, but really it's the army that I have to focus on the most. Let's grab some radar, then. Do we have free dockyard? Oh, we actually finished our stuff. Nice. I have not even taken a look at this throughout this entire campaign yet. For good reason, this is all garbage. Well, not all of it. A lot of it is, though, but not all of it. I'd love to have radar, but I have to have these level twos. Yeah. Um, early capital ship. Uh, is, it, is there even really a point for me even trying to editing this and then trying to like have ships repair themselves or upgrade themselves? I mean, it's not great. It's level one stuff. Hmm. I think I'm focusing mostly on subs. I don't mind focusing a little bit on screens though. Screens are okay. It's not a capital ship, which is fine. I like cruiser battery too. Get some aircraft at least. Torpedoes are nice. But I usually don't use torpedoes on my guys here. More anti air. There go the Philippines. I thought they already capitulated. Hmm. Level 2 radar. Level 2 there. Secondary battery 1. That's an okay ish ship. It's not great. Make more subs. Alright, you two, just come over there. Go ahead and try to upgrade if you can. That's fine. It doesn't take that long for these guys to upgrade anyways. Um, no available ship designs. What do you mean? Uh, just come home. Yeah, you're already home. What do you mean there's no ship designs? That's the only... Oh! Maybe it's you guys. There you go. Mmm. It's probably just a waste of time trying to even help these guys out. But, you know, we'll try it. We'll try it. Wait, I still can't... Screw it, just go and train. Whatever. Just give me more uh, naval XP. That's all I care about. There you go. There you go. 60 factories still. Uh, oh, they're trying another invasion. How good. How glorious. Now, I'm not going to invade just... Or attempt to invade France just because we need time to recover from the Civil War. And I need coast guards. I need a lot of coast guards. That's important to make. Recon. Wow, four armored recon. That gives you four. Cavalry gives you four. Light armor recon gives you nothing. At least for now. These guys give you four and a half. Oh, wow. 30 more defense. That's really good. Holy cow. How much motorized do we have? That's really good. Holy crud. Um, oh, Seducer. Commando. We have yet to have a commando yet. Gaspar. I like this one. Thank you. Now, there has been some activity down here, so we'll keep it... Keep uh, her down here for now. Infiltration risk. Capture... Oh, she's pretty good. I'd like to do stuff over here because we have 50%, but whatever. God dang it. Can, can you, like, win here, please? <laughs> please. The inevitable counter blow. And then, okay, requires that. That's fine. I really want this one. Fortify the, uh, the Pyrenees. Global Defense Council. Allowing the transfer and coring of any foreign controlled states have sufficiently high compliance. Plant the seeds of the revolution. I really want to get down here. 
But we need that and faith in the cause, which is... Okay, my goodness, ever since, really, the, the DLC came out, the game's quite a bit laggy, at least for me. Maybe just maybe just my game. It just seems very laggy. Lots of civilian factors. I need a big industry, a massive industry, before we do anything major. And we'll finish up those at factories as well. Alright, the, the Germans... They're doing okay-ish. Hopefully they don't have enough infantry equipment to guard, you know, all these high-risk areas. Like Warsaw. Uh, which is not increasing in anger. Hmm? Okay, whatever. Oh, good. We got some Coast Guards. That's really good. Let's zoom in so that... Uh, come on. Uh, so it kind of goes down on the amount of things the game has to process at the moment. Uh, you know what? Spend a political power for that. That's okay. Good, good, good. We definitely want Gibraltar back. Awesome. 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 I'm going to guard those areas for now. It's probably not really worth it. Since, you know, these places can get destroyed pretty easily. But... For now, I suppose we will. Nice, finally. Anarchism is successful. We have achieved much, but must prepare for the worst. Ah. Uh, Communists have reportedly succeeded in stabilizing and rebuilding the region, and can continue to attract like-minded immigrants from nations across the world. Very good. I love more military factors. I could really use them now. Recovering... Oh, remove the spirit. Recovering from civil war. So give us more factories. Oh my god. I wanted there's so much I want to do. There's so much. Oh boy. Creating time more population. Uh military structures are not bad. This stuff can definitely wait to be held the last stuff. So communes must be encouraged to increase their production of military supplies, or we risk starving our brave soldiers of the tools they need to defend their homeland. Or our homeland. Good. Six more divisions. Great. Great. Awesome. Any more? Oh, we have another division too. Nice. We have 30 divisions on the main army. That's actually really good. That's really good. Oh, we need to make some fuel refineries too. Aircraft is. It's okay. You guys are doing okay. Mechanized. Eh, I can wait. Let's get that. Nice. Uh, planes. We actually have. A few planes that we're making, which is good. Oh, we got some advanced artillery. Very good. Three. Um, with operational integrity, just so that we can start doing that. Go ahead and just train in general. I just need more planes so I can train them. So I can get more air XP. So that we can elite air wing. Huh, that's new. That's kind of cool. So that, uh... We can get... We research things faster. That's pretty much it. Just research, 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 research. Two more subs. Alrighty, tighty. And we're building more subs. Good. 27 of these guys. Uh, I guess if you want to really upgrade, that's fine with me. I really don't care. Alright, what are the stats? Can we figure out what type of intel America has? We probably can't. Yeah, 5%. Oh, we got actually quite a bit of information on their industry. I have a few factories, 480-ish. That's, that's a little bit. Tons of steel, tons of fuel, aluminum, no rubber, almost no chromium. They have how many divisions? 143, or at least using military equipment production. Oh, with, even though we have 5%, we can see they have either between 34 to 240 divisions. Alright. All right, I really want to see a Warsaw uprising. That'd be so cool. But it looks like their garrisons went down a little bit, or the resistance has gone down. Come on, they're definitely struggling. It's almost been a full year since I think we started this back up for this episode. That's not bad. Uh, go ahead and train. You guys need training. I'm just going to let it kind of go on. I could use a little, just a tiny bit more army XP. Uh-oh. Oh, God. China's gone. 
Oh, that's one big old snaky Japan. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. And they're trying to invade here again. Just allied things. Radiant interception. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. We got a lot of intel about Vichy France. The fall of oh, the whole fall of Hong Kong. Oh no. The fall of Kiev. That's not good either. Up to seventy-five divisions. A lot of manpower. God, the Civil War really put us behind. I would have loved to have been like a little further in the focus tree right now, but you know, whatever. Oh, the Soviets are not doing well whatsoever. But with this new resistance system, it should cost Germany, like I said earlier, a ton of infantry equipment to just try to make sure resistance doesn't get too high. And the more that they conquer... What the hell? Rome. The more that the Germans conquer, the harder it is going to be for them, probably, to make sure that there's less resistance. And eventually, full-scale uprisings. That is unexpected. What the heck? Hmm... Grab one thing of fuel, because we have none of it. Uh, I will help the Americans out, just because I want them to do a little bit better, even though I don't think one civilian factory is really going to do much for them. Eat that Roman underbelly. Oh, hello, is this a Belgian D-Day? That's really good. They're led by the Catholic bloc. They have up to... Uh, that's 2 to 12 divisions is better than what I thought they had. Oh, eliminate re rebels. Oh, any more compliance. Uh, so for more compliance, well, occupied territories. Hmm. Where are you on civilian oversight? Was I a martial law for any of these? I was for this. If I go back to this, they'll probably start trying to rebel against me. Let's see what happens, though. 5%. Oh, we got a little bit more political power. Good. Ship stuff, I can ignore that for now. Military high command. Artillery, weapons, research, support. Oh, wait, hold on. Support equipment. Or support unit. That could be pretty good. Electronics, industrial. Let's get both, because I will do both of that eventually. And get one more thing of fuel. That's right. We anarchists have to use another state to get enough resources. Um, resistance. That's going up a little bit. Isn't good. Ah, Japan declared one communist China. That's okay. Ah, boy, boy, boy. That's yeah, going up down there, down there. It's going down in Galicia, which is actually a little surprising. All right. I keep wanting to go there, but it's actually right there that I want to see what's going on. Radio interception group. Anti-partisan, root out resistance, mission efficiency, that's not bad. I would like to steal some blueprints, though. I really would. Ah, oh, militarized industry, good. And communal autarky. Good. So, the world is shunned up, and we so, and so we must make do with the natural resources that we find in our own territory. This is an exercise in optimization that we will learn to excel at. Wow, okay, so you guys stop doing what you're doing. Uh, you know what? Tell the ships to stop doing what they're doing. Go home. That'll be good. Resources. It's going up just by a little bit. 0.2. Compliance strength is at 11.5, which I like. What if, instead, we come over to here. Civilian oversight. I don't mind the civilian oversight stuff. I like less resistance. No garrison would be a big old problem. Local police force. I don't want to hurt my... Compliance. I want as much compliance as possible. Really, civilian oversight is what we... Th I think we really need. Maybe, maybe not. You know, autarky. Militarize the people. Yeah. Faith in the cause. Hmm. We just need more compliance. Well, it seems like we're probably not going to get up there for a long time. Compliance is slowly going up. The 
Resistance strength is 4%, which is pretty good. Resistance strength is that much percent. A little to, you know what? I'm going to root out resistance right here. Oh, right there. Um, let's do it right there because it's 9% it's going up higher and higher. I don't like that. 9.7. And it is stationary. It's going down a little bit with her here, which is good. Now, how do we get more compliance? Base value, controllers at peace, additional compliance change, high compliance. Well, that's not very high compliance, I'd say. Alright, 13%. 13%. La Coruña. When can I core this? Communal anarchy. God, what are we doing that costs so much fuel? The army shouldn't need any. Oh, well, I guess maybe they're training a little bit, but even then, they don't need that much. Alright, you guys stop training them. Got blueprint stealing, good. Uh, root out resistance. Oh, it's going down now, finally. Low stability, resistance decay, low resistance, high compliance. Yeah, I want more compliance. I don't think there's there's really no other way to get a lot more compliance. I mean, civilian oversight's pretty much what you can do. Even if you use no garrison, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, it's just... Hmm... Oh, 1943. Happy 1943, everyone. Happy 1943. How many tanks do we have in reserve? Infantry comes okay. Maybe we'll start thinking about making it a tank division. At the very least, make it 20 combat width. Which will be important. Motorized. And there you go. Nice. We want some... Lots of recon. Artillery would probably be pretty good. Engineers. Anti air. Well, let's not do that yet. Let's do that. There you go. Let's make one division for now. Oh, five more divisions. Good. Okay, we got better radar. Let's get some output. Nice. We probably gonna need more manpower, though. Communal autarky, which would be good. And recovery from civil war is gonna be over, which is good. More construction speed, more output, more output. Joint faction tension limit, and just more consumer goods, which we really, really need. And resistance is going down. Good. Awesome. Actually, these cavalry divisions, why am I not putting on... Recon's okay. Ooh... Do I... Actually, do I have any horses? I don't. These are the only guys I'm using. So how about, instead of horses, instead of this, I mean, this doesn't really help our suppression at all. Hmm. Actually. Eh. Nothing that really helps me remove suppression. What if I did that? There we go. Save us a little bit on that. Motorized went down a little bit. That's okay. We can make more as well as medium tanks. Bordeaux has been invaded again. They've Italy got Rome back. The United States invaded there. The Germans are pushing insane. Holy cow. Warsaw's resistance is not going up by very much whatsoever. Anti-partisan, good. This is not looking good. Passive defense. Let's keep building more stuff for now. You now the infantry division, good. And we are only on volunteer only, so that makes sense why we don't have that much. How strong is Germany? They gotta be relatively okay in strength. Oh, they might even have more divisions now. Bitchy France has only a few. Um, I could go to war and cause a distraction for a little bit, but honestly, that would pretty much kill us off. I'm not really for my guys to die yet. Oh, uh, the US got a board, though. They could probably hold that, maybe? Maybe? Which I don't like. I'd rather them invade up here so I can invade down here. The Allies are trying a ton of invasions. Yugoslavia has now Trieste, Venice, Livorno, Nice, Bordeaux. Oh, Sicily. Ooh. Oh, they're still trying to kill Greece, too. 
What are the casualties like? One, oh, that's a lot of casualties. Holy cow. Oh, thank God we got rid of this. Good. Faith in the cause. Next. So, there's no room for defeatist thinking when the whole world is against you. We either maintain our unshakable belief in achieving a peaceful future, or we fall. We might fall. <laughs> 1.69, 1.54, I mean, I could probably hold the line. Oh, oh my god. The fall of Moscow already? Holy crud. The fall of Leningrad. Did they... They... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. They've lost 7 million. Yeah, the Germans, I think they're a little weaker than before. Just a tiny bit. But... They're still extremely strong. Holy cow. That's a little terrifying, not gonna lie. Come on, America. Do hold on to these areas. Just don't lose too much. Don't lose. Um hmm. I could expand resource production. That'll be important for like rubber or aluminum, but can we even get more rubber or, or aluminum? Aluminum's down here, but we need excavation trace. Faith in the cause. Oh, and we do have a few more factories, which is actually really good to work with. That's actually not too bad. Uh, just in case, build up a radar station in Catalonia. That might give us some more detail what's going on here. Now, here's what I'm going to plan for tomorrow. I'm going to see, if I go to war with Vichy France, will I be invited to the Allies? If I am invited to the Allies, that would be an extremely good thing for the UK and the United States. So they don't have to navally invade. They always have some sort of area where they can go to to be relatively okay. But... I'm going to end today's episode here. I know I didn't get into any wars. We were just mostly just looking at what the world was doing. And I'm trying to finish up these focuses as fast as possible. But 70 days takes so long. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow when we have a great time as... And continue as the Regional Defense Council of Avira. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.